Doing all right. Welcome to the show. I'm gonna have a look at all them witches. It's a rock band from Nashville. Yes, they do have that there. Drummer Rob Stabler, vocalist and multi-instrumentalist Charles Michael Parks Jr., guitarist Ben McLeod, and keyboardist Jonathan Draper, who left in 2018. Well, they began in 2012 as a blues rock, hard rock, neo-psychedelia, and desert stoner rock band. Last I checked, there are no deserts in Tennessee. Their debut album, Our Mother, Electricity, went in 2012. And the follow-up EP, Extra Pleasant, was recorded on two mics into a four-track cassette recorder. Third product, Lightning at the Door, was released twice, first on their own Bandcamp page, and second, three years later, on their new label, New West Records, who signed The Witches in 2015. Later that year, they released Dying Surfer Meets His Maker, which was recorded in a remote cabin in Tennessee over six days with not a surf-worthy wave in sight. They are now a trio. Keyboardists don't seem to be long-lived members in this band. They are not a honky-top pub band or an energized prog fusion outfit. They rock. Here's some of the other albums. One, Sleeping Through War in 2017. ATW in 2018. Nothing as the ideal that just came out in 2020. And what's more, all them witches, Saturnine Iron Jaw, this is indescribable. I love it. The cover of Hendrix Voodoo Child, why the heck not? Our mother, Electricity, is heavy like a witch. Real swampy, real swamp, wow. Guitars, ham and organ, the urn. As in, I'll put your ashes in one. Bloodhounds, I killed a man at midnight. Now I gotta leave this town. Guns is an anti-war rant. Elk Blood Heart reminds me of Dark Side of the Moon. Breathe until it unwinds. It's muddy and wet and slidey and swampy and steamy and ripe and rife. Family stone for the leaving right hand. These guys are unhappy with the state of affairs in our country. Date wise, that's President Obama. I can see that. I was kind of going to go this way about this song about being the right-hand path of which I concur, but it is not. I'm not saying they didn't like Obama. 
Barry was very popular, but there was some malarkey and the band vocalized what many writers were afraid to see. I'm looking at you, Newtown, Connecticut. So guess what? My several, seems like hundred shows about heavy metal have had an effect on me kind of like boost me right up into the present time. Next thing I know, heavy metal seems to be going out of style again. And this is what is coming on now. Unless I'm still behind the times and this is already on its way out. I don't know. But there are a whole lot of stoner bands out there. Summer Desert, Summer Surf, Summer from every other country in the whole wide world, and that's what's going on. So I guess East Coast Beat has got to have a look at some stoner bands. That does not mean that I am going to say smoking dope is a good idea, because I don't think it is. And I'm not saying that all these stoner bands, that's all they're about, because some of them aren't. Some of them are about other stuff too. So. Hopefully we'll be able to look into that and talk about it a little bit and see what's what with where's where and who's who and and like that. Please come with me on my ride.